Hey guys, how have you been? I have y'all on a tripod. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Say hi. Hello. Say, did you miss us? Say, did you miss us? <laughs> so he just woke up from a nap. Wasn't the ideal, ideal thing, to be honest, because I was just about to go start doing some things that I really need to do today. But it's fine, because he at least slept long enough to allow me to get myself together. So let me strap you in, you like to move. So I was able to at least bathe my skin and fix my hair, get a little bit of to eat, and then that's when he pretty much woke up because he's ready to eat. So we're gonna feed him. Hands up. Oh, we your hands, baby. We your hands. We your hands. You don't want it on. You wanna do it yourself? Or you, your finger in the way. Yeah. So I'm going to feed him some of the cereal. He's still eating the um, baby cereal from Gerber, like for breakfast. Sometimes he'll eat it for lunch or dinner, depending. Like if he's not in the mood for something else, I know for sure he'll usually take this. So I always, you know, have it on hand. You get you ready to eat, right? Okay, let's go pray. Yeah. Thank you for the world so sweet Gojai. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you Lord for everything. Amen. Yeah. Ready to eat? Yeah. What's this on your hand? Okay. But yeah guys, how have you been? I haven't picked up this, this camera in a very long time. So, I can't tell you what the last vlog was. I know I haven't posted in a very long time. A lot has been going on, guys. By now, you definitely would know that uh, we got married. And then um, he turned one. And so between, it's like, it's like, yeah, that's only for you. It's like every month, there has been some big event in our life. And so, yeah, we got married. The next month, he turned one. And now, um, oh, sorry, I thought I was getting a call, but yeah, so it's like every, like I was saying, it was, it's like every month, um, something big happens. So we got married and then we planned for his first birthday, have a little something for him. Um, you could go watch that last vlog. And then, I think that was the last vlog. And then, um, you already prayed, baby. Yeah. And now, we are in the process in the process of moving, getting ready to move. Thank God. Because although I really like this apartment, I'll be honest, I really like the apartment. But it is just too small and cramped in here. Um, we need some space, especially with him. He, well, um... Not fully, fully, fully walking, which is, I'm a little confused about that because he started to like let go and walk around and then he just stopped. So now he's still cruising. Sometimes he'll let go um, and do his own thing. But yeah, so with him being so active and moving around, he needs his own space to play. He's, his toy collection is growing. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to me? Want to talk? Tell them what you want to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. You want to tell them? No. But yeah, his toy collection is growing. Oh, say excuse me. His toy collection is growing. He's growing. He needs space to move around and play and all of that. And I'm tired of having to maneuver around his stuff and around my stuff and around his dad's stuff and it's just things in the way things our stuff is like the amount of stuff we have is growing the amount of stuff we have is growing and we need space so i'm really excited about the move we'll be moving for the next couple of days so i'll be vlogging that um i keep looking at myself and it'll be fine sorry y'all 
just wanted to make sure it was still recording but yeah i'll be taking you guys along with us for the move i don't know how much of it i'll be showing i'm a little i'll be honest i'm a little skeptical when it comes to like showing full-on tours of your apartment and stuff like that um the space is so small meaning like where we live the community and everything yeah i safety face safety measures first so i'll be taking you guys on the journey of like furnishing um well first of all moving moving from here to there like packing up i want to do a little bit of packing so i'll probably show some of that today packing up some stuff uh cleaning this apartment cleaning the new apartment um unboxing whatever stuff buying new things because I, we have to buy a lot more because it's a bigger space but to actually purchase a lot more things that we, we need yeah, in yeah. mm -hmm. and then another thing is this yeah. apartment sorry yeah. sorry sorry you want some more okay this apartment actually came semi-furnished mm -hmm. and so we didn't have to go and rush and buy a bed this bed yeah. came here came with the apartment so now we're gonna have to go furniture yeah. shopping and stuff like that so i guess i'll finally yeah. have enough things to actually talk about and share in my vlog so and like motivate me to want to pick up the camera and talk to you guys and show you guys and stuff organization videos are coming up I, i'm so excited about that like i like oh i'm sorry baby want some milk i light all the way up it's milk you want to handle it and you can hold it like that yeah so I light right up when it comes to organization and planning and stuff like that and decorating I love it so much so yeah I'll take you guys along the journey it'll be a slow and steady journey so yeah I'll be spaced out throughout the way what else yeah it's just a lot has been going on I need to find a balance of being able to have a lot going on and still kind of share bits and pieces of it with you guys because I want y'all to go along with it for the journey um, and I want to be able to like render some tips and hacks and stuff like that, life hacks or whatever, ideas. So I'm going to finish feed him um, and then I'll probably, the, vet, the rest of this day may be in a montage um, kind of style because it's easier for me to record that way and do what I need to do. A little mini update because... I'll do a full-on update video for him since he's now one. I haven't done one since he turned, I think, five or six months. So he's overdue for one. But this is actually whole milk that he's drinking in here. He does. We haven't um, replenished or bought more of the milk that you mix, like formula, for a, a while. This is actually just whole cow milk. He seems to like it. He's playing with it right now. But um, what we have been doing, this is actually the first time in a while, a long time, that he's had a bottle during the day. So he probably, that's probably why he all, whatever. We usually give him some whole milk in the bottle in the morning to start off his day. And then at night to like put him to sleep. But throughout the day he's been eating solid, throughout the day he's been eating solid food, like his cereal and spaghetti and stuff like that so that's just a little mini update a little mini kai update um but i'll do a full-on one soon hello <laughs> i'll do a full-on one soon but yeah let me finish deal with him and i'll be back
<laughs> okay guys so baby boy is finishing up his milk i think he just finished it but yeah he just, he's in the crib and i just finished packing majority well basically almost all of hubby's um clothing that are in the drawers like men are so like simple and like when it comes to clothing his clothes could fit in this let me show y'all so the, clo the clothes that we fold up all of his yes baby you can't play with that all of his clothes basically can fit for the most part i won't say all of them because there are still some left over but the majority of his folding clothes can literally fit in this carry-on suitcase i could never okay I could never but yeah so I'm packing it up for him because he's working today and I'm off so why not make life easier for him I just left out like enough of the t-shirts and stuff where he could he'd have enough clothing for the rest of the week or whatever but everything else will be packed up and then the, the, I did the same thing with my clothes um, we already started carrying some stuff yeah, we already started carrying some stuff to the other place. And so, you want to talk to it? You want to talk? What you want to say? What you want to say? Talk. Talk. You want to see yourself? See you there. Talk. <laughs> That's you. Talk. Da. Yeah. Talk. Da. Talk. Go. Mm hmm. Go. Yeah. Go. Go. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wow. I could finish talk now? Wow. Wow. I could finish talk now? Uh. Okay. Okay guys, so yeah, like I was saying, um, we already started taking some stuff to the new place. And so, right now I am packing up like the remainder of our clothing. Yeah. I already packed up baby boy clothing and I just have like a few pieces out here that he could wear for the remaining of the days while we're still here. But the rem the majority of his clothes is already packed and shipped away. Mine as well. Um, and now I'm doing hubby's own wife of the year. Hey. And then I'm going to tackle the clothes inside of the closet that are hanging up. We're not taking them off the hanger. I'll show you guys a tip that I did that I usually do not, like whenever I move. I usually do this tip it's been so helpful I think I found it on Pinterest or something like that and I've been doing it ever since well I haven't been moving a whole lot but whenever I do move ever since finding it out I always use the trick the hack and so I'll see you guys in a minute but yeah that's what I'm doing and then we're actually supposed to be getting ready to go out so I'm trying to multitask here guys Kai you want to talk to trying to multitask here I'm trying to pack and organize stuff to pack and also get ready and somewhat entertain this boy. Don't fool with the light. So I just remembered I said that I was going to pack his bag um, for today. So let me do that first before I tackle the stuff in the closet. I, I want to be able to do things but not be late because my friend is picking me up today. We're going to go for lunch. I'm going to ship him off to grandma's house so he can go have fun with his grammy because he loves her to so pieces so they could have they could spend some quality time while i get some mommy um time with one of my girls i'm excited about this move i'm excited for a lot of things that are happening right now to be honest i've had a rough two years but I mean, I didn't let it get the, mo the the best out of me, but it has been really, really rough. Really rough. I'll talk more about that some other time, but it has been really rough. But I made it through, and I'm so grateful for 
just how life is going right now. It's amazing. But yeah, I haven't really changed what I usually pack for him, to be honest. I've, you know, changed it a bit based off of his age. But for the most part, I just I send change of clothing, another bib, a bib for him to eat. Um, so after, when he started solid foods, that's when I got these bibs. That's easy to clean up. Uh, extra towel to wipe his face. Um, a little burp cloth extra pair well not an extra but a pair of socks inside here and then i need to put another cap i need to put a cap in here because i guess he wore the cap that i had in and i didn't replace it so i'm gonna put another cap in there i'm gonna find one that actually matches what's in there I have a lot of green in there, but I'm not finding anything that's matching it, so I'll just put this brown cap inside there. Oh, y'all can't even see nothing. Okay, much better. So, as I was saying, I usually put Change your clothing, extra bib, a cap, sock, feeding bib, towel, burp cloth. Just anything that you would need to keep him clean or refresh him. I don't send soap and stuff like that because I don't look for persons to bathe him. I just like his bath time to be at home. So it'd be like a normal, his normal routine. So that's why I don't I don't expect people to bathe him, so I don't send stuff for him to bathe. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Then I'm gonna get these are actually my bins that I had my stuff in. I'm gonna take these back from him. By the way, we bought some other bins, but I was waiting until we move to set that up. But I really love these kinds of bins to put stuff in, organize and stuff. And we need some sleeping blanket. Yeah? Uh. Mm -hmm. And then food. This is some spaghetti that he he didn't feel like eating it, I guess. He usually eats a lot of it, but just little um what do you call these alphabet? Chef the little alphabet, the ones that come in the little microwavable bowls, but I just put it in here so it doesn't leak out. I need to find some bowls. I like, I rather kids' bowls to be like really cute and colorful as opposed to the regular Tupperware. That's just me being extra, but like this. I love these, but I, I don't put the stuff that needs to warm up in them because these aren't microwavable. It has these um, suction portions and they, it could melt in the microwave so I just put it in here and I'm gonna put some snacks in here for him he's been loving these organic um snacks oh I keep on putting it too high yeah but he's been loving these organic snacks like he he see it <laughs> I wasn't gonna give you none now okay I'll give you a few don't rile me I can give you a few I can put some in your bag, and then I can put some in a different bowl for you. Okay? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Y'all hair around me for this? Yeah. I really believe I can put a little bit in here. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get a bowl for him to put some of these in. So, like I said, he absolutely loves them. He over there munching. But I put a few of them in here. And then he has this smart, the applesauce mango peach. He hasn't. I don't think he's tried it as yet. This flavor, so we'll see. We got some soup, the little bite snacks, applesauce, and a spoon. And then, of course, I always send toys for him. That is a little play cone that his aunt got for him. And then, let me get it. Where's the other one? Oh. The little book 
he absolutely loves this has nursery rhymes and he absolutely loves old macdonald he loves that page he knows exactly how to find it he knows what page is on so when he turns it to the page they sing old macdonald Here's water cup. I don't even know where the cover is for this. I hate when I can't find covers because it makes me feel like this stuff ain't clean. So I'm going to have to look for the cover for these. But water and some orange juice. He had a cold and so we don't really give him juice. We usually just give him water and milk. But since he had a cold, we gave him 100% orange juice and that has helped him tremendously so we just kept on giving it to him daily to make sure that he got some orange juice daily that way so bring him and his changing pad somewhere he's been playing with his stuff every time I pack his bag he would unpack it and throw the things all over the place so annoying Okay, so the lighting isn't all that great over here, but what I'm about to do first is um, pick out all of my clothing and, prop, prop, and his clothes that are hanging up that we may need for the next week or so. And then everything else, I'm going to just pack them up to go. But let me tell you all what the trick is. So the trick is to get large garbage bags. It doesn't have to be anything like really high quality. You just want something that won't tear super easily but isn't expensive because you're gonna have to throw them away afterwards you won't be able to use them for trash because they're gonna have a hole in it so you're gonna so i'm just gonna show you guys what i mean because i'll be speeding the rest up so you're gonna take one garbage bag some people outside doing something to the, their bed the um house or something but you're gonna take a garbage bag open it and then you're gonna go like to the middle bottom and put a hole there. Take the bag, put the hole. I'll just use this dress as an example. And then you're gonna push the hangers through, and it'll act as if it were one of those like bags, Carmen bags. And if it's too long, you can like kind of do it upward and then tie the bottom of the bag to protect your clothing. That way, you can carry a bunch of clothes at once hanging up on the hangers from one place to the next as opposed to taking them all off the hangers and um, folding them up and putting it in a suitcase and then having to go through all that process of putting them back on a hanger nobody have time for that and then two you could just take them off the, take them and then carry it in the car but you don't want them dropping off so in the event that you know something drops off a hanger or you have to pack the hang up clothes in the car or whatever and it may be next to other stuff that could possibly dirty it. Your clothes won't get dirty in the process of moving and they won't get lost. So that's the tip. Don't fool with this. Go eat. Go eat your snack. Leave this alone. Let me live. Okay? But yeah, I'm actually not gonna pack this dress because I wanna have some really easy easy outfits for work. So what I'm gonna do is pick out some some items that I think I would want to wear for this week and then stop packing.
Hey guys, so it's another day. Currently packing up the dishes. It ain't a whole lot of dishes anyway, thank God. But um, yeah, currently packing up the dishes. I'm only leaving like two or three glasses so we can have it over the next few days. Packed up all of the glass plates and stuff like that because we're not going to be using those. We're going to be using paper plates that you can throw away. And if we want to feel a little fancy, then we can just use these um, plates. They're not glass, they're more like plastic ceramic kind of material. So I'm going to leave these here for the next few days. And so this, these would be our only dishes. Actually, no, I'm taking this. But I'm going to leave these two as well. And then we're going to use the disposable plates. So I'm going to continue doing these things. It sounds like our helpers are here. So, hey. hey. Yeah, I don't know how this day is going to go. But you can guess some kind of content. And just so you know in what form I get. But stay tuned. Hey y'all, so we got helpers in the back there. Woo! <laughs> Don't try this at home. But yeah, Kai, somewhere in the back there too. Somewhere in the back there, but we're on our way to make our first trip for the day. I got nothing else to really say, so yeah. yet because I want to sweep again and mop and everything so we still have some things that need to be done and I don't want to have to be working backwards so yeah I like how everything is coming together I'm going to take you guys on this journey so I'm going to end the vlog right here thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next ones make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and make sure you hit the bell button so that you're notified whenever the next vlog comes out see you later